Hi guys, Daniel here. Welcome to my Atlas walkthrough series. In this episode, we will have a look at the free port and hopefully learn all about it. Free ports are one of the region types found in Atlas. Used as a safe haven when spawning in as a new character, hiring crew members or trading with NPCs for resources since PvP and damage between players is disabled on those islands. With that said, on free ports we will find several NPCs providing a service or two. If we join a server and don't play solo, there will be a ferryman at the free ports. Free ports take up a full grid on the world map. In this grid you got four free ports. The ferryman offers you a free trip to one of the other islands based on the direction from your current island. I would say this is mostly used by friends that want to start off from the same free port. This is the commodities vendor. With the commodities vendor NPC, we can make resource trades. When we need a specific type of a resource, we can trade it for offering the same resource base type and some gold. The cosmetic vendor sells cosmetics for clothing, ship figureheads and even monster taming tokens for gold, those to be used in late gameplay. I recommend you to take some time and browse through this NPC's stock of available items. In Atlas we have the ability to farm crops by planting seeds and in the free port we can find a seed vendor. The reason we want to collect, buy and farm seeds is for more advanced cooking and benefits when taming creatures. In the Freeport, we can also come across this holiday vendor. He sells holiday related items. In this case, our vendor sells St. Patrick Day related items. Then we can find this guy, the Crew Recruiter. This is a man we probably will go to a few times during our playthrough. Here we can rent crew members for gold and purchase a re-spec dish. Just remember that you can re-spec every time you level up. This guy is the shipyards man and he is also our ticket away from the free port. He offers to build us a dinghy, a raft or a ramshackle sloop in exchange for some resources. So, the main reason to not stay on the Freeport Islands is the level cap. We can't level higher than level 8. As we reach level 8, we stop gaining XP whatsoever and this is true for official servers and might be a different on official servers or if you play a solo game. This all depends on the settings of course. 
So we've done that and maxing out the level cap on the Freeport, we reach the end of this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot to me and it would be very helpful. You stay safe now. Much love.